M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So I just want to show you that you can control the ICOM 7100 wirelessly using a laptop. And how can I prove that? I'm going to show you now. So here is my ICOM 7100, which is connected to my desktop PC via a USB cable. But this laptop is wireless, completely wireless. I can move it away and it's still controlling it. So let's try and show you how we've done this. I'll just show you the frequency changing. So on the laptop, we'll just uh, click, let's grab my uh, correct mouse, too many mouses here. Click on the frequency, click on the rotator and you can see the frequency there, 187, 14, 187, changing as I turn it. And we can change bands and you can see it changing 40 meters 80 meters top band all wireless there are no cables connected to the radio from this laptop okay so the way it all works is you have to connect you have to have a radio list and a server list so the server is actually running on the p on my other pc and the server looks like this and if we go into the properties of the server here, properties, and there's all my settings there. Cancel that. Now I can actually connect directly to the radio via the USB cable using the same software, which is RSBA1 version two. Uh, but right now I'm, I'm not connected because I want to connect on my laptop, but the USB setup, I've done a video of that and that's very straightforward, very quick to do. But now the server side is a bit more trickier because to make the desktop PC, which is connected via USB cable, um, allow another laptop using an IP address to connect, you have to run a server. First of all, you have to register a radio. Uh, so it's quite a process. The way you do this, there are setup wizards and you get choices here. So if you have a look, top left is set up a remote PC, a radio with a server function. And you get, the diagram tells you what you're going to be doing. Then set up for a remote PC, connect through a server PC. Okay, so that's probably what I'm using on my laptop. And then down here, set up a local PC directly connected to the radio. That's the one you click if you just want to uh, select a USB cable and just follow the instructions. I'm not going to do detailed now, but that's the one you would click just for a USB cable straight to your ICOM 7100 to get a nice color screen. And then this one here, set up a server PC, the radio is accessible by remote PCs, is the one that I ran to make all this work. So back to the laptop, if we look at the, click on the one that I'm using here, so it says, see the way it's got the IP address there, it's connected, properties, and then you can see my all my settings there. And if we look at radio list, just cancel that radio list there and then you've got the server wizard at the top so i won't call this a tutorial this is just finally after hours of tinkering i've managed to get it working you can disconnect i'll show you the settings here settings that's where you really can set the microphone the speaker and it does use a, what they call a virtual com port but it does it all for you i've got some options here local server settings there's nothing there at all. So I haven't added anything there on the laptop. So when you disconnect, you can actually turn the radio off. Watch it. I'll click connect. Just watch the radio. Oh, the radio. Yeah, there you are. It's turned off. So it's turned it off. Then you go to connection set and I'm going to show you my settings. So it's, I've registered the radio. I've selected remote, remote utility there as well. Com port for the board rate is 19200. Now, if you're using, um, if you want the scope to work with a newer radio, you set that, I think it's 115. Radio CIV address is ATA, and I'll show you that in the radio. So let's turn the radio back on. I'm just clicking here, and then you'll see, with, oh, I'll come out of this window. Click on, and the radio will come back on. 
So I can go anywhere in the house now and use my radio, which is connected to a long wire, and basically play HF, and I don't have to be sat at my 7100. This software, you can get it on eBay now for £22. So let's just show you the connection set here. And I'll just click the next one, set mode, which gives you all, everything that's happening. I haven't really properly configured the microphone and things. Just wanted to show you that it is working. There is memory, memories you can add here. All the, all the functions of the radio work, everything, even the transmit. See that, it's gone into TX. It, tuner, everything, filters, voice record. So many options here, file. That's what you're showing here when I click that. There's more settings there. I mean, there is a lot to learn on setting this up. Once you've got it, it the settings are in there. I'll put a link in on eBay for where you can buy this for just £22. So for the sake of £22, it's well worth uh, tinkering. So 7.3, hope you find this interesting. Catch you on air. All the best.